All right. Morning, guys. Oh my god. We have some seeds to check out. Lone wolf. Yeah, I walk alone. Hey, tragic booty. No, I'm okay. Just something specific to yesterday, I think. The end. I ended up feeling like sick for half a day. Let's see. Hmm. Socially distanced. Can't be how you suppose socially. Alright, brain, wake up. I need you to start identifying socially. Two L's. Gotta be two L's. Okay. Yeah. Hey. What does the lone wolf banner look like? He's right. Well, it's an old one. Be a lone wolf. <laughs> An artist rendition of a wolf. Perfect. All right, Coach Garen with the 19 month sub. Thank you very much, man. Welcome back. Good morning, Skex. Thank you, Arinder, for the 12 months. All right, we've got a long list of seeds to check. Some good ones from uh, Wyo. Renewal. Welcome back. Thank you, TP, a 15 for the three months. Cheers, guys, for the sub support this morning. Appreciate it. All right. Anyone excited about another Battle Brothers campaign? Another poor fool. Hey, Care Bear. Getting some space. subs as well. You Care Bear. Five gifted subs. You? A little bit? Sweet. Dude, Filthy High is such a great emote, isn't it, Erender? I like Filthy Pog as well, actually. Alright, we have a good, we have a bunch of good emotes. A bunch of good emotes. Another another round of emotes coming soon, too. Alright, what? Is this brother? There we go. Easily, easy, dexterous, sure-footed. Okay, what are the, what are my ranges on this, this brother? You Nord Hirsch. I had to avoid the last couple of streams so Baldur's Gate didn't get spoiled for me. Battle Brothers hype. Well, welcome back, man. Thanks for the resub. Uh, I am gonna play. I'm gonna play quite a bit more Baldur's Gate. Uh, not on stream now but closer to release, or maybe at release. I think the game was excellent. I think it's gonna be a super fun port of d and I just, um, I don't wanna burn out on it now, and it's definitely early access right now. So I played enough to get a sense of how it felt, and it felt really good as a D&D &D player. I'm like, shit, this is, this is gonna be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to that. Definitely needs some, definitely needs some work still, but shit, it's early access. Thank you, Nellard, for the 15 bucks. Let me grab, uh, let me grab BB roster, get that going. Oh, someone already entered the command for me. There we go. Get Nallard in here. All right. My raffle, we're gonna kill the roster. It's a successful run. Nuke the team, add tickets, zero. Nuke. Yep. All right. Then. Allard in here. All right. Perfect. Good, good, good. Okay. Take a look. Uh, I've watched much lately. You missed me playing Civ 5. I'm not sure I'm going to play Civ 
I mean, I'm glad you enjoy the content, man. But I have no intention of going back to Civ 5. So, um... I don't mind people expressing, hey, we liked your content. But I, what I don't like is the inevitable follow-up, which is... And I want you to go play that now. Which is not something I'm interested in. So, glad you're enjoying the content. Alright, what are the ranges that, um... The Lone Wolf can roll on? Anyone know? I want to I want to be able to evaluate these starts, but I'm not actually sure without I mean I could do a bunch. Remember this is actually 66 to 7, which might be max for the lone wolf, I'm not actually sure. A kind gesture. Hey Calark, good morning. Thanks for donation, bud. Add the nine to that. I have no intention of ever playing Civ 6 again either, unless uh, something massively changes with that game. Multiplayer is just worse than Civ 5. I occasionally watch Arbius play some Civ 5 and don't don't hate watching it from time to time, but I don't have any desire to play it again right now. Uh, it's a new campaign, our goal is kill Nobu already. Yeah, it's just referring to the tweets this morning. My dad forwarded me a kind of amusing um, little article suggesting uh, um, you know the passwords that you get, uh, the uh, security questions you get with some of your uh, some of your sites, and you have to answer like questions for pa like uh, questions to recover your password kind of deal. There were some really amusing ones my dad forwarded me this morning. So Nobu was complaining about one of her characters being killed by chat, so I doubled down. All right, sixty-seven ten Skex, thank you very much. That's actually really helpful. Good morning, Kex. Hello, Vidkormuma. What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good, Tragic Rudy. I got a kick out of them, too. I liked, um... What is your uh, father's mistress's maiden name? That one was pretty funny, too. <laughs> uh. That was progress on potential among us. I have, I have bought and installed the game. Um, I did that Sunday. Reached out to Jorbs and Arvius. And they told me... It would not be available Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I'm currently trying to set up something Saturday, but they haven't asked. I will ping- oh, they haven't responded yet. I will ping them right now, Kex. With- I'm gonna just copy-paste your message in there and be like, Guys, let's get- let's give me an answer here. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, I don't have to play it with them, I suppose, but I wanted- I wanted to have my, uh, Among Us cherry pop that way. So, I thought it would be a fun way to do that. Some Jorbs, Filthy Robot, Arvius, uh, Action going on there. What the fuck is that uh, conversation? I wonder. Just like his chat, sorry. Get that. I'm actually ask that question right now. All right, what else we got? Playing uh, nine hours of Among Us every day. Yeah, I saw he's been playing a lot of that game. Is it, is it? I, I haven't played enough to get a sense if I can really fucking play nine hours of a game like that. Never get your lone wolf past like level 13, what? You didn't like the Westworld mod emote? Or you did like it, rather? I figured it was... I don't know. It felt a little um, tough to parse what the hell it was. So, Alright. So, uh, you guys already told me, but I've immediately forgotten. These are 67. Okay. There can be 67 melee attack. Melee defense of... 10. And fatigue of 110. What's the HP roll on those two? Thank you casual observer for the resub. Welcome back for 26 months. Getting up there. Your mech size is respectable. Hundred and fifty hours in the past three weeks. Fifty hours a week is a pretty good amount of fucking content from a game. 
All right, we don't have a seed for this yet. We're still looking. So okay, but so what? Okay, I gotta start evaluating these. Let me pull up a notepad, and then we'll start working on this. I have my doubts about that H4. Uh, let's take a look at this. Play video game if you don't need to write notes. Nope. All right. So let's take a look at this particular start. <laughs> I love that. Anyways, okay. So what do we have? We've got a pretty decent brother. Not amazing. Seven. So he rolled 66-7 out of 67-10. 110 is max here, though. 72. I'm not sure what their roll is. I think that's a high roll on HP. 53 seems decent for resolve, um, but we'll look around. Start itself. Put it all there. Iron lungs are a must for long for a lone wolf. I don't. Um. Southern cities are not ports. I mean, it's fine. I'm not seeing anything that really stands out about this seed. I guess I should be looking for barracks, essentially. Music seems way too overhyped for this early in the morning, too. 42 fucking degrees outside this morning, which is not even remotely human. Um, Gatherer's hut. Rapper, they're, they're baiting me. They look like hunter's cabins. Not that I need hunters anymore. I guess I still want throwers. The hunter's cabin. A while to learn properly. Alright, I mean, sure. Nothing I hate or love about that one particularly. Try the next one. Uh, what were the stats in that? Yeah, I've already forgotten. It was, um... 12 melee defense and 72 melee attack, right? I mean, it wasn't really... It, not bad, not bad, quite honestly. Come to the conclusion we always want throwers over actual archers. Not necessarily. I think there's still some use in archers, but we're playing another restricted um, restricted start background, right? Like, we don't have a lot of um, reserve slots on a lone wolf campaign. I think we, in fact, have zero. So uh, we're going to be in this issue again where we can't, we can't recruit for everything we'd like. Yeah. Wait, where's my F? The lobby is fun. Ah, let's see. He had 55 resolve. Thank you. Good call. Resolve is actually important too. And quite important. Although you, you can gladiate. I mean, I expect that we're going to want to for our lone wolf uh, arena. Right? I expect that's going to be part of it. All right. Let's take a look at this gentleman. 72, 13, 107, 72, 53. Pretty fucking good. Again. Alright, what is this? D3 res. Any of you guys in chat, I know this is probably a long shot because I think it just came out, right? Any of you guys have the um, Oculus Quest 2? Hey. 
Yeah, Vandross, we're going to do a new Battle Brothers run this morning. Take a look around this map. Wait, are there not southern city-states in this map? There's one, there's two, there's three. No, no ports again. I'm kind of hoping for a southern city-state port. I'm not sure if that's possible. A lot of wilds on this map. Yeah, is insane. You want to get it? Uh, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to buy one and check it out. I'm looking uh, right now. I'm like, I'm, I'm running this issue. Like, so quick, quick, real quick story time. So you guys know my bike got stolen, right? Uh, the next bike I'm going to get won't be available to be gotten until uh, end of December right now. There's apparently supply chain issues, um, both from the storm air in this area, but also just from COVID in general. So I'm going to be out of a bike for more weeks than I want. Um, and normally in the winter, I'll bring my bike in on the trainer. So I have it for uh, physical workouts at home. Um, I also went down to the Iowa um, University of Iowa climbing gym, the one that I'm probably going to be buying a membership to in the not too distant future. But their top roping is closed right now. They're only allowing bouldering. And although the gym is very nice, it's you know it's a major university. Uh, I think it's 60,000 or 55,000 students or something insane. So it's a major university gym, and the gym is really nice. Um, it's too far away to, to. It's about a half hour drive for me, so it's a little bit too far to be traveling just for the gym. So I'm probably going to hold off getting a gym membership there until they open their top roping again. It's not it's not it's not a climbing gym. The, the climbing it's a it's a just a university gym essentially, but there is a climbing wall there. It's not a huge wall. I mean it's a 50 foot wall, but it's not like a million routes. It's probably like it's not a very wide wall, I guess is what I'm saying. There's not a ton of route selection, but I want to get back into climbing again. But either way, it's probably not going to happen until next semester. Yeah. Half hour climb drive for a climbing gym is fine, but half hour drive for just a regular gym really isn't fine for me. I can get something closer and I'd rather do that kind of deal. So I think what this means for me is I probably don't have my bike until January. I probably don't have um, a climbing gym until earliest January and much more likely closer to like either either March or more or not March, February or maybe even the semester after that, which sucks. So I'm kind of sitting here like scratching my head as to what the fuck am I going to do physically this winter, you know? And it's like, so I'm thinking maybe some of the VR stuff, like I've got a basement in my current apartment, which is nice. And we, I've, I bought some um, thick foam padding for it, which I do stuff like yoga in, but uh, I wanted something a bit more physically interesting than yoga for me. Like yoga is about flexibility for me, which helps my climbing, which is nice. But uh, anyways, so. Long story short, I'm probably going to check out one of these VR standalone headsets and see what it's like. Try pottery. H4, you know the deal. I know you want to be the, the premier troll in this channel, but you have to be funny. That's how that that's how that works. So, uh, learn to be funny, friend, and then, uh, then post, maybe? We'll see. Yeah, I've heard things like, um... Beat Saber being fairly decent. Anyways, but the point being, if that works out nicely, and it's something interesting, and there's good stuff being released on it. Maybe I can figure, and, I mean, fingers crossed, one day I get a home internet connection. Maybe I can stream uh, some fucking VR stuff, too, which would be fun. So. <laughs> I'm like, you already said that, wow. What's happening? All right, what is this character? Um, we already record these stats, we did. We're looking through these seeds. There's still, I mean, these are all fine, right? Not finding um I mean I guess I could be looking at promotions too, but the promotions are pretty scripted, right? With all the stars, yeah. Got a pair of gloves I'm in boxing. Yeah. I uh my biggest struggle with workouts is actually um well, I mean clearly everyone struggles a bit with motivation for doing them, but I was thinking more along the lines of I get bored. And when I get bored, I don't want to do things. So like, I need them to be engaging. That's why climbing has been such an incredible thing in my life when I have access to it. Because it's just, it, it never gets boring. So I'm doing something physical, demanding, super fun, and gets me moving and gets me out there. And it's a, it's a workout I can do with my wife, etc. A lot of fun. And I enjoy it. It's like running, which I don't like. I, I, I was a runner for a very, fairly extensive period of my life. And what I found why I liked running is it's the most efficient form of exercise I could fucking find. You know, I could do it from anywhere with no equipment as a graduate student or a student where I didn't have any fucking money. Uh, you know, and I could just 
you could run from your house and you leave from your house, return to your house. There's no travel time to a gym. You're just, you're good. The problem with running is it's insanely boring. It's insanely boring. Like, you know, to the point where like, you know, I was running with podcasts, I was running with uh, music. I was running with like literally bringing problems to go out with, like to think about as I was running. And it's still, it was just like, eventually just like, I get too bored to do it anymore. It's like the same routes, the same kind of shit, right? So biking, I found to be a much more interesting form of running. You cover a lot more ground when you're biking. So there's a lot more uh, things to see and do as you're doing that kind of. Um, I like the, the feeling of biking is a lot more exciting to me than running for some reason. I, I feel like I'm, it's the closest I can get to like flying on the ground <laughs> when I'm biking, you know? And I know there's things you could do to actually get closer to flying, like bucking flying. But nevertheless, the uh, the idea is roughly the same there, right? So, um, all right, let's just go through and track these starts, trying to find a start we want to do. So, biking's been great, and climbing's been great, and they're both super easy. I like again biking that I can bike from my house, not have to go anywhere for that. But uh, if I could uh, play games and work out. That's a pretty good thing too. There's a lot of intellectual stimulation in gaming for me. Uh, no, I don't think you need to inquire about that, Kex, I'm sure. He didn't like that. He didn't find that super amusing when it happened the first time. You don't need to be trolling Kuba. Anyways. Swimming's an interesting one, too. That gym that's too far away, really, the half-hour tra travel time to that gym has a very nice set of pool, like, a couple pools, actually, and one of them is very, a couple of them are very nice, and one of them is a dedicated lap pool. But I, I, don't, I tend to find that I don't love swimming. There's a lot of setup time for doing it. And then um, my skin just doesn't like being fucking submerged in chlorine regularly. Skin and eyes. So I did a little bit of that in college as a swimming as a workout. So I was doing that for, I think I did it for a couple weeks in a row. And my, my skin and like fucking eyes just died. Like it became like almost, un, it became almost undoable because of how unpleasant it was. All right. So what is this? This is another seed, not much vertical. Although it's a little bit better than some of the other ones. I mean, we're getting we're getting a lot like this. Hey, Wyo, did any of those seeds have um, arena ports? Or at least southern city ports? Yeah, pool swimming, exactly. And I'm not close enough to any other, like, real body. I mean, I don't know. Like, it's... It's like, I want... I want a easy-to-do fitness, right? And not, like, in the moment easy-to-do. But no barriers to entry for this. I can't remember where I was reading this, but, but it really resonated with me with one time. Talking about setting up things so that you're not making a decision you're just building a habit essentially all right like look at the failure points right if if i have to go tra travel a half hour the failure points are essentially you know time travel like every time i have to do each of these steps like and now if i'm doing things like swimming as well where it's also like get a change of clothes make sure i have like a towel blah, blah. it's just too many stupid things that i don't want to handle i just want to go and do it and not have to think about it every time i don't want to make my decision Every time I go to work out, I want to have made the decision already, removed all the barriers to make it happen, and then just do it. So, for me anyways, that's how it, it, it helps. Again, like, I, I don't I don't motivate through being like, yeah, I'm feeling that every single fucking day. Most days I'm not feeling it when I'm doing it. It's just like, if I build the habit into it and remove all the things that prevent me doing it, I do it. Uh, what is this one? So this guy, okay, we've already recorded these. This was fine, but there's no stat there. Okay. All right, let's keep cycling through a couple of these. Cycle, my bike got stolen. And the next one I, I will be getting won't be here till December. Do I like running? I don't like running particularly. I was just talking about that. I ran for a number of years of my life, but I find it extremely boring. Row machine with the VR headset. Well, I'm buying a VR headset. That's how we started this conversation is um, checking that out. Because I was going to ask chat, and I still haven't heard if any of you guys have this particular headset, the um, the Quest 2, uh, Oculus Quest 2, the one that requires fucking Facebook integration. Shoot me. Uh, but any of you guys have sweat stuff for that? Like, I'm pretty sure the base design of that is not real good with actually doing work. Um, I have a trainer drunk Danish. So, which is a, it lets me bring my bike in and set it up on this trainer to ride inside without actually going anywhere. Which is pretty dull too, honestly. It's a lot less, it's a lot less interesting biking outside, but I can do that in front of a TV or in front of Twitch or something like that. So. 
Book integration is a no go. No, it's not op it's not optional on this on the particular set that I'm probably buying, so I think I'm just gonna suck it up and do it. But yes, it is quite quite a fucking downer that that's a thing. Now I just have to convince them. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll build a persona. If I tried drinking and running. I have. I joined a group. There's a. I can't remember what it's called. There was some specific title for that kind of group. I joined a group in uh, when I was living in Asheville, North Carolina. I only went once, but I did go once for drinking and running. I found the experience as unpleasant as you would expect. It's a massive mistake. Yeah, I'm not seeing a lot of other good standalone headsets for that, though. And I'm looking for, again, ease of access for these. Interesting, Nightwolf. Yeah, is it, um, if you do me a favor, Nightwolf, if he's doing a bunch of Beat Saber, he's probably doing that too, right? He's probably sweating quite a bit into that. Has he picked up any of the accessories for um, like sweat control on the the quest too? Because I'm looking for some suggestions for that. I was I was doing some browsing of that prior to the stream and finding pretty pretty slim slim pickings for that. Ah, nice freedom. What's the most difficult start for me in Battle Brothers or life? You, Bernard Montgomery for the resub. Welcome back, man. Alright, uh, so is this, <laughs> is this the new one or not? Battle Brothers. Uh, most difficult start. I don't... Uh, look, this is going to sound really fucking egotistical at this point. Um, I don't really find Battle Brothers hard anymore. Um... There are fights that are more challenging than others because you're less prepared for them or it's earlier in the game. Um, but like, and you can still kill your game with RNG and a lot of times we'll end up re-rolling a, a playthrough because the start is slow. But it's not like a difficulty thing most of the time. So I don't know if I really think about starts that way. I think about starts about how interesting they are. I've played too many hours in this game now. So what I really want from a start is a start that keeps me interested. This is some really fucking bad arena layout. Or, um, Southern City layout. Like, where even is the third Southern City? There's just two over there, and one over here, I guess. Thank you, uh, Fudgenator for the 20 months. Ooh, that sounds good, Lugus man. I'll have a look at that in a second. But I'm going through, uh, Wyo Generated did some seed hunting for me, so I'm going through the list and kind of just looking at the brothers here. So, uh... All right. Dude, these are such good rolls. <laughs> Look at these fucking rolls, man. Uh. So we're going to be doing a little bit of seed hunting this morning. I play this game so easy, you don't know how. And it's nothing, there's nothing complicated about it. I have a newbie guide. Uh, we talk a lot about perks and builds and that kind of stuff. Um, for the newbie guide, I talk a lot about how to get started in the game. Um, but the long and short of it is go kill raiders early. <laughs> you many huntu. What's up? How good is the arena? Good. Uh, low... Uh, a lot of money early, and then the stat boost is nice, and then there are some arena events late that make them interesting. Um, mostly it's good if you're around it, but not really worth traveling for unless there's a port. This is the one that was just suggested by chat. I mean, look how much lower though. Iron Jaw, there's no iron. Wasn't I promised? Determined Iron Lungs, almost max road, long warp, uh, lone wolf, plus port in arena city, plus beautiful map with everything good roads. This is not that. Yeah, you're probably using a site that's out of date, it looks like. All right, rolling through the list that I have. Yeah, 
scam by chat. Yeah. <laughs> yep, scam by chat. Yeah, let me just ping while real quick. I won an arena tournament. Uh, no, I haven't because I haven't encountered an arena tournament at a time when I could realistically fight one. The way to win an arena tournament is to have a thrower and to have good brothers. And I just haven't been in a position where I've had that when an arena tournament has triggered. I've had an arena tournament very, very early and I've had an arena tournament kind of like when I was like with no throwers at all. Because you can't beat sword masters with melee, basically. They just kill your entire team if you try. So you need a, a ranged attacker. And I don't build a lot of ranged attackers, and I didn't have that that brother ready for that when I encountered the last time. All right, so this is the next seed. All right, so more of this stuff. I do think um, just raw stats on melee attack and melee defense, I think, are about what I care about. So I do think it's going to be a dexterous, sure-footed start. It's not particularly exciting. Um, for, uh, for, like, it's not, like, unique and different, but it is just the stats that matter. So I'm going to probably roll one of these. It's just I'm trying to figure out where uh, I have to do some, like, searching for the map layout. Oh, the brothers are great. Uh, if you have a lot of fast adaptation, you can win versus a swordmaster. I mean, I guess. A magnanimous dispensation. God. You just donate 11,500 bits? Holy shit, man. YouTube watcher here first time? Wow. Well, I really appreciate you uh, coming to check out the live stream. And thank you for the huge fucking donation, man. Big one, man. Cheers. Um, glad you found the YouTube stuff good. We're gonna be playing some Battle Brothers. We gotta do a little bit of seed hunting this morning, so it'll be a few minutes before we get started, but uh, we're looking around. What is that, in real money? Uh, divide by 100 for real money. So uh, 115 bucks, right? Dang. So. Cheers. All right. Uh, let's give him some tickets. All right, what is Beta Void Star? All right. I have, I have a suspicion that he will be part of this playthrough. Uh, Alright, so what is the start? Have we already recorded this one? This is the WQ one. Just recorded it. Okay. What does it actually look like? Uh... Fucking garbage. This is so garbage. This spot without a port in the middle of nowhere is rash. There is a north south teleport, it looks like, possibly between Salt Haven and Newland. It's not a very good port because it doesn't really interact with anything else. This looks pretty bad, too. Yeah. All right. Seed hunting is the best part. It absolutely is not the best part, but I think it makes for better games. And I also like that, um, you know, when, when we get a seed, like everyone can play that seed. Which I think people like, so I like having that as availability too. All right. Spreadsheeters of Ender Chat. That's fine. We're a spreadsheet channel. We even have a command for that, don't we? Easy spreadsheet emote. Probably the only spreadsheet emote on Twitch. I don't know. Arumba's got to have a spreadsheet emote, right? Can I recommend a man splitter build? Sure. Build a zero stam uh, brother with uh, recovery. Easy man splitter. Run it without mods. Mods don't determine seeds. You have the most recent expansion. 
Uh, Alright, let's take a look at this guy. Max rolls again. Take a look at the layout. Good morning, Nobu. Alright, has a bit more of a... Ooh, port city, southern port city. Double southern port city. Exciting. No north-south teleport, unfortunately. Try and buy high. Well, have fun at work. Okay, this is... Southern port cities are really good. Not a very well-placed citadel, but oh well. That's a nice citadel. They're northern citadels? Hey. No, not much in the way of northern citadels, but I'm a little tempted by this. Problem is, if the southern cities are connected via port, which is amazing, they have to be connected to something else. So kind of connected here, but like, how are you ever going to come to this city? You know, there's no reason to ever come here, and this is a fucking terrible location. There is more. I mean, this is also a bad location too, because they're just so they're both they're both isolated from everything else. And they're not cities that are going to reliably give you tools, so you're not going to have a lot of reason to be there. This city's a little bit more reasonable, because there's another city there, but it's not much more reasonable. There's still nothing in this area. Three little shit towns over here. It's like, I initially am excited by this start, because of the, the double port cities, but I'm not sure it actually gets us anywhere. Alright, we'll work through this. Keep checking. Bad seed? Uh, not a great seed. Keep going. We got, I've got a fairly extensive list from Wyo. And what is what is this through? Chatting? Waking up? No. Seeds work for all company origins? Correct. Although... Some of what is coded in the seed as um, is changes based on your origin. So the lo the layout will stay the same, but like you're not you're not going to be able to plug this into poachers and have like these numbers, right? You're going to have different characters in the poacher start than you are in a lone wolf start. All right, we handed flail run. Maybe be a really good two handed flail, perhaps. Fifty-four resolve. Anyone get that? Fifty-four resolve. Okay. Right, let's take a look at the actual set layout. Uh, where's the third fucking city state? Oh, over there. Nice port city. I don't know, even maybe not even. And the thing is, this is where this type of terrain is really good for raiders and having locations like this it's really nice to teleport between locations along a coastline like that it's often very cheap at the beginning and very efficient to move around hunter's cabin over there yeah the southern cities are junk here i agree i'm not sure we're gonna find really good southern city layouts though those are rare port city southern cities are pretty rare as seeds go there's a lot of other good stuff two northern citadels real close to each other right by the wilds this is decent except for the south, is how I'd, how I'd label this. There's no real good north-south port either, unless that's a port. Come on, be a port, be a port, be a port. No. I mean, they're on a lake.
Eh, this isn't terrible. Um, all right, let's keep moving. Oh. Chat's giving me. I don't care about iron lungs. Um, I do care about southern ports, but I don't. I don't really care about iron lung. I'm probably just going to keep going through the list of um, the ones WoW has generated for me because I know these have good characters with the stats that I'm interested in. So, oops, shit! I just didn't put a. I just didn't put a seed in. Rip. Yeah. All right. All right. So we um, you guys want to talk more VR? You guys want to talk more? Things happening in Filthy's life. You want to talk more? Uh, you want to hear about the next bike I'm going to be getting? Any other thoughts? What do you want to, what do you want to talk about, chat? I can have a, I'm happy to do it on stream chat. Uh, why I kind of want to look at these. Iron Lung on Realm Wolf is really good. Sure. Yeah. Did the internet company? Okay. Um... So, update on shitty internet company. Uh, a week from yesterday, so um, this coming Wednesday, I will be starting the stream late because the other company that services my house will be coming to install their internet or connect their internet. Um, I'm not really holding out a lot of hope for them, unfortunately, but um, maybe. Um, with that, that's the only other place that will provide um, basically broadband internet to, uh, to my location. So that's my last hope at getting a working home internet connection, unfortunately. Um, I'm not really holding out for it, though. I don't think it's going to occur. Um, I don't have any reason to believe that they're going to be particularly good there, but maybe I'll be surprised. They're a smaller local one, and I don't like them so far. They've seemed um, a little... Um, what, is it, what is it called with business practices that are a little bit suspect? Like they want me to sign a two-year uh, two rental, uh, two-year agreement with them um, for their internet. And if I move locations, uh, my internet, they, they'll let me out of the contract if I move, unless the new location also has their internet, in which case I'm contractually obligated to keep going through them. Um, so I'm a bit, I'm a bit not thrilled about them, but kind of out of fucking options right now. Dodgy, shady, seedy, yeah, a bit, uh, bit dodgy on that. So uh, predatory, that was the word I was looking for, predatory, thank you. Um, so I'm not real excited about that, but it may be. My wife did a stream test at her work internet, which is a college campus, and that was fucking rock solid, stable internet. Um, so if next week I get internet at home and it doesn't work, then maybe one of the other things, avenues we explore is will her university rent me a space or uh, let me use a space to stream from. I'm not really holding out hope for that either. I don't know why they would want to do that, but it's at least, I mean, I know why they'd want to do that. They'd want to do that to keep her happy, et cetera. But uh, I'm not sure that will actually realistically work out with their with their lawyers and the rest of it kind of deal, but we'll see. That, that's a possibility. Otherwise, I'm still fucking renting this office. I'm on month two of renting the office. The office is fine. Um, I don't really like working from an office and I don't like having my home PC here and I don't like, you know, my personal PC. I mean, it's a personal and, you know, working rig, but I don't have it access to it at home. I don't like traveling to the office. Uh, so I'm kind of hoping I don't have to be here forever. And it's expensive, right? I'm already paying uh, paying as part of my rent for a third bedroom that I use as a streaming office. And uh, having to pay that again for an office is just really not where I want to be. I mean, this is an okay layout, but uh, no ports again. So, yeah. You sign a contract because you're getting a 70 pound box. I'm not renting any equipment from them. So uh, I'm signing a contract because they can say, fuck you, we're a monopoly. We can make you sign contracts. My current one is a month to month. There's no reason not to be a month to month because they're not doing anything for me that requires this. Oh. Hey, Sean Memerson. You missed anything relevant in this run? No, we're still seed hunting this morning. All right, next seed. Yep, 
Yeah, it's not the speed. Not even really the price. I mean, I care a little bit about the price, but it's not the speed. It's not the price. It's just the stability. I mean, Mediacom has made it abundantly clear that they will not be fixing their fucking internet. Because they have done a very long, elaborate dance to never acknowledge that there's a problem. Which is fucking bullshit. Alright, these are the- this is some serious junk southern cities, but um, okay. Um, not a port. And ports over here. The north-south port, there's a north port up there too. Put it all in here. Here's contractor not standard in the US. Um, no, not really. Okay, um, not super excited by the seed again. I'm gonna keep, I'm probably gonna keep looking. We, I got a list, like a pretty decent list. We're up like eight now or something, so we'll keep going through this. Feels worth it to do this for, um. Uh, for a full run. Uh, cell phones tend to have contracts like that, but the internet companies don't. <laughs> oh, Krimwald, you live in a, an enlightened society. This is a better southern layout. Still not southern teleports, but the cities are somewhat accessible relative to each other. Now, they're not very accessible to the rest of the fucking world, but maybe to here. Port, port, port. But nothing up north. An idea? What's your idea? Certainly welcome to float ideas. I'm feeling a lot like I've exhausted the possibilities. Directly contact networks. <sighs> yeah, it's kind of more along the lines of I've been through their tech support, I've been through their PR page, I've been through the um, local supervisor. They just stopped responding to me, man, eventually. Um, my, my take on it is it's more work than it's worth for them to fix my individual, the issue that's happening with my stuff, when the bulk of their stuff they can, they can just write off and be like, oh look, he's getting fine up and down total speed kind of shit, missing the point entirely of what the problem is. Um, so far I've been unable to get anyone to actually look at um, uh, Wireshark captures, which I feel like would be the thing that they would want to start seeing. And um, this same setup in multiple locations now, everywhere else is fucking fine. Definitely something specific to either Mediacom or my location or something on their shit. But I can't get them to acknowledge or look at it, so they won't. So maybe I could find like a... I don't even know if I could realistically do that, like circumvent that. <laughs> yeah, they don't uh, direct anyone here particularly well. But maybe, maybe, that, maybe that's worth a shot. I, I've pretty much, I've given up on Mediacom, right? After the storm, when they finally did, I mean, I was out, I was, I was dealing with them for almost two months. All of, um, all of, I guess not two months, all of July and two weeks in August, working with tech support. And they had basically at the end of that, were pretty much not returning my calls anymore. And then that storm came through and wiped out my internet and the internet was just totally gone entirely in my area but specifically from my location for seven weeks. And now that it's come up again, like now that they've repaired that and that's back online, they're basically starting from the beginning again with all the internet stuff. And it's just like, it's a fucking nightmare, man. 
So fuck it, it just becomes a nightmare. All right, what is this? This is, this is the JL seed. Yeah, and what is this? No port. I mean, this is just, there's just a number of like seeds that are fine. Like if you care only about the brothers, but no southern ports again. Yeah. All right, seed hunting. Mediacom, the only game in town. Um, the other company that will service my location is coming by Wednesday, but I'm concerned that they will be a small local company that doesn't have good internet either. We'll see. Yeah, I just never, never thought this would be the limiting factor to moving. It's a southern city, southern port city. Any other ports on the map? No. <laughs> <Ugh. Nice. laughs> okay. I mean, there's a nice southern citadels. The wilds look really kind of dumbly spread out. How's the west? Pretty bad for getting tools in and out of there. Uh, YouTube comments initially on the per on their retinue review video have uh, suggested people think that I'm not giving the scavenger his due. Welcome. I fucking hated the scavenger every time we've used him. We've used him twice now. The sass coming. Sass coming. No sass here. But I uh, thank you. Uh, incognito for the uh, resub. How strong can the lone wolf character become? Oh, I mean, if you stick to a good diet, uh, steady uh, workout routine, and um, you know, keep your keep your mind strong, pretty strong, I'd say. Maybe not as strong as Superman. I mean, what what is the? There's like a mutant like uh, rating scale for strength, right? What uh, what is that on again? With like, um... oh god, I don't remember the scale. It's like a one to five scale, right? YouTube comments are the worst part of the internet. Yeah, I want to share this one with chat with you. Oh my god, this was um, this was a YouTube comment I had. Uh, I think I gave it. I think I posted this yesterday. So um, it was on the Civ Five um. Uh, review the Civ 5 review I did where I reviewed all of these Civs in Civ 5 and the guy said um, great review agree with a lot of this uh, really wish uh, you could post timestamps um, the timestamps are in the description of the video and have been for I don't know five years or something and I'm just like took the time to post his post is essentially a request for me to do something but he wasn't willing to put the time in to look at the fucking description of the fucking video where the po where the timestamps would be. Like, what do I even say to that? I said, um, so I, I responded with, um, you mean like putting it in the description or something? Seems like a good idea. And left it at that. But you can't. You can't make people do this. You can't make people, like, think for themselves or, like, take take the step of, Show thing I need. Click button. <laughs> it's like, what? So. I, I just, just, I don't know what to do there. Like, what, what do I, like. Anyways. Yeah. No. And clearly it's someone who's watched the content, liked the content, wanted to give some feedback, thought they could think of an easy way to improve it. But uh I, I I just got here. What's going on? 
Hey Xander, thanks for the resub. We're um checking out seeds right now. Uh, oh, if that was a port. So there's a citadel down here with three southern cities relatively close with decent roads between them. There is a southern port in Harkenstad and in Strand. Although that's not really close with that. It's like a day and a half, maybe longer. And a port there. Is there a northern port? No. Ugh. All right, um, okay, southern layout, no ports. Keep moving, keep moving. On mobile, the YouTube description text isn't clearly in view. Well, he's got two options then. He can either adapt to the fact that that's not particularly well uh, set up on mobile, which is entirely outside of my control, and entirely in the, the purview of uh, YouTube. So he could address YouTube with that and be like, hey, could you make your mobile stuff actually display properly so I can see shit? Or he could take the little bit of an extra step to be like, I'm browsing on a mobile device. I know the fact that I always browse on a mobile device that some things don't display well. I'm gonna take a little bit of extra effort to check for that. Like, really, you're just gonna post without looking? Crazy. Crazy. You notice how on notice on new videos how it has the breakers built into the play bar? I don't. I haven't. I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about. Alright, uh, is that a port city? Yeah, nice. It's a double port. It's it's got two harbors. This is why a lot of the times we don't find harbors in the other cities. This city has stolen someone else's harbor. Uh any other ports on the map? Mmm. No. I know this is terribly exciting, chat. Double heart would do anything. Yeah, it makes me twice as salty. Each, camp, each map could be it. We're getting there slowly. Slowly. Okay. What else, chat? Don't question it, Xander. It's just a standing goal that I have in most of my uh, Battle Brothers campaigns. Port there. Port there. Port here. So trolly. There's only one port. Where are we? There. Is it at least an arena port? Oh, Tonic. No, not the arena. Yeah. Okay. Any skin tier tips? Absolutely. Um, it's really about the quality of blood that you bathe in. Um, I mean, it kind of goes without saying, but you're really going to want to pick high quality sacrifice targets. 
Make sure that Davkul really understands what you're going for. He is a generous god, but he is in fact a very, very specific god. He's uh, attentive to details, but not intuitive, if you know what I mean. So, um, definitely work on that. Uh, other than that, um, you know, not direct lighting kind of helps. Like, diffuse lighting is always helpful for how you look uh, on camera. Try that out. All right. Rena's always in the city with the green banner. Is that true? Yeah. Okay, let's get to our next round of lists here. Oh my god. Okay. We got a, we got more. Can you see the seed list? Hmm, maybe. Virgin blood? I mean, it has its pros and its cons, it's like all of the blood types, doesn't it? Easy to farm. Especially as a uh, as a uh, Twitch content provider, plenty of that blood to be found. But not always the best stuff. Not always gonna get the job done. That's what I'm saying. All right. Uh, not a port city somehow. You're on a fucking island and you don't have a you don't have a harbor. All right. Also not a port city. On the water, didn't bother investing in the minimal infrastructure needed to put a fucking harbor port in there. So, two southern cities that should have ports, but don't. I mean, maybe they don't have the tech yet? You think they'll tech up and build it soon? I mean, this, I guess there wouldn't be anywhere to port to on this map, but. All right, I don't think I'm going to record uh, the stats anymore. Like, I have enough of these to be clear that I have a good stat build if I want to. So I guess we're just hunting now for harbors. Offensive to the gilder to swim on boats fair fair problem. I mean, that's a reasonable criticism. I didn't realize it was religious religiously prohibited Sure-footed paranoid I don't really want paranoid on my on this guy Is That a port that's a port what about the other southern cities? Uh, on the water, beautiful view. No fucking harbor. No. Only know is stone, possibly. Yes, they kept building their boats out of rock with holes in the bottom, and they kept sinking. Well, water stuff's not for us, they decided. Just sand. We will swim in sand. All right, chat, I'm going to go get a refill of coffee back in a second.
Okay, what do we have here? Exciting. Port City. That says the arena is always in green. Did we debunk that myth? Or was that a true a true thing? All right, there's, there's no. Uh, okay, I mean there are some ports over here. One there, one here, one there. Uh... A generous bestowal. You have a Kino. Glad you're enjoying the Battle Brothers, man. Such a great game. Oh. I'm back home yet. No, I'm still in the rental. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3, excellent. Uh, needs its early access time still to be uh, a good game, but it has really good potential. So I'm really excited to see what they do with it. All right, we're gonna check this real quick. I'm gonna see if it's, um, oops. Wait, these not, can I not tell from here? I wanna see if this green thing is actual bullshit or not. I oh, know. Yeah. I'll get you uh, tickets for that, McUnu. Looks arena. Dude, I don't remember exactly what it looks like. Alright, let's camp till morning. Nope, temple. Okay. Alright, so at the moment. That's right. Jack can be right. I'm excited about that. Alright. Right, hold on. Going through these. Yeah. See, the, the arena is kind of an interesting content, and so I think it's particularly interesting with small groups of elite brothers like Lone Wolf and Gladiator. It's just kind of annoying to not have access to it, and it's a real, it's really far out of the way to uh, to get to it if you don't have boat access to it. Like, not really worth it, or really slows down your campaign kind of stuff. And I like dipping in and out of it. it makes it quite fun. Ah, I want too many necks. My bad. No. All right, chat. I beat the arena tournament. I haven't played an arena tournament when I've had the appropriate brothers for it. You just need a thrower. Basically what you need. A thrower and some good melee bros. Yeah. I'm happy with my seed because you saw a great one. Well, what does the great one consist of? Me 
mean, that's almost a southern city port. Is there a northern port in this map? No. There are three linworms in round three? Fucking hell. Seriously? That's brutal. Three linworms? For three people? Five people, I see. Still brutal. Three linworms for five people is probably death. Death most times you take that, right? And what is what is, what is your trick for beating that? I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> I hope you have I hope you have anti linworm armor so you can go melee them. Um I got it from that reduced silver. Best harbor seed I've ever rolled. But it's not going to generate a good brother, right? And it's actually super important to have a good brother and a single lone wolf start, right? I mean, I'll plug it in, but I'm not expecting anything from it. Uh. Is this the seed that Arvius plays on nonstop? Fifty-eight, five. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Like a well-rolled farmhand? Not wrong. Not wrong. Keep plugging them in, keep checking. Southern city on the water with no port. Also, the fucking arena city. If this green shit is accurate. Love the password security questions. On what street did you first lose your sense of childlike wonder? <laughs> Smile. Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Random guy somewhere. I don't like to forward shit like that around, but that was it was funny enough. I'm like, man, I should share this with chat. Welcome back, man. Thanks for the resub. That's so close. If this had a port, this would be. Well, other other port locations. Yeah. There's a north-south port, too. Oh, man. All right, I'll check that out. Uh, YNK. YN Conant. I'll try that one. So where could we port if we took this one? Because this is close. Uh, no, it's really not. The nearest port is here. Fuck. All right, I'm gonna try the chat suggested one. We're seed hunting, tragic beauty. Sorry, bud. Soon, soon, hopefully. I don't think I want a fearsome bright starting brother. I mean, it's okay, but it's not anything. So this is, why is that not what I, JK, SZ. E B Z U E. Wait, what? Okay, I, I have to type this. Something about copy pasting from chat really doesn't work. E B U C. All right. Can I select that? Pillar? 
Oh, killer how? Oh, the one we just we just checked out? Yeah. You can post yours again, Logo. Try it again. Playing expert economy. I'm probably going to again. It's another one of these elite background ones. It seems cheaty not to to me. But I don't know. I, I'm I'm totally happy with either either argument. So there is a port there. This is not, I don't think, what was promised, right? Try this one. Southern Arena Port, Shorefooted Dexterous, Good Northern Wilderness Citadel, Good Port Connections. Oh, wait, there's a northern city up there. Long time filthy. Thanks, man. Ah, thank you. Romulus's. For the 48 month resub. I'm not even seeing this green port. Where is it? Here? Okay. How's the brother? So this is not Surefooted de Dexterous. And the C listed in chat is lowercase z, capital J, lowercase k, capital S, lowercase z, capital T, B, Z, U, C. So this is not, and this is a hand typed. And this is not what the brother actually is supposed to have. This is a huge short sighted one. Ban him? I'm not sure it's worthy of a ban, but it seems. Like, something's not quite right there. So far, chat's been... I mean, that might be a translation thing, but we did just check that, right? Alright, where is the... if it's still in chat. Can I see messages from a user? I can, right? Somewhere? You turn off your cultist mods. No, I've not turned off my cultist mods, but all these other ones that we're rolling are working that way. I wonder if um Uh, what is it doing right now? I was looking for logo. If I could figure out. There, no. Damn it. Alright, uh, let's try the next one. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter um, mods in here for changing seeds. Okay. The cultist mod fucks this up. Awkward. <laughs> All right. We're going to be removing the cultist mod too, right? <laughs> oh no. All right. Well, that's interesting. Oh no. Oh no. I trusted Wyo. All right. Let me try fixing that real quick then in case this is actually what's happening right now. So we're going to remove the cultist mod anyways. I don't need it for this playthrough. Um, that might explain why chat's suggested mods are not, or suggested ones aren't working. I thought mods didn't change the seeds. What am I, what is causing this one to actually change the seeds in a way that matters? Cultist event fix. Because of dumb. Uh, all right, is this the one we're on right now? That's what we want, right? <sighs> all 
attempts. He's calling to you, chat. I liked the visuals of the new ones on the map. Tried that. That was okay, I guess. Alright. We're going to try this again. We're not looking for cult to start, so thanks. Okay, so this is the map we just saw. It does have the southern port city. Not amazing access to it, but there's a couple other ports on the top. So having north-south traveling is pretty good. And actually this is like nearly perfect. It's northwest to southeast. It's going to be expensive porting, but it's going to be good. Is this the Dexterous? So this is Dexterous Sharefooted, too. This is really probably what I'm going to roll on. 49 could be up to 54. 106 could be up to 110. And 70 could be 73, I think. This could be as high as... Uh, this can be... Can this be 15? 67, 10, is that right? So, I mean, it's a mid-roll, I think, on that, but it's still pretty good. The port is really nice. So the brother's not fucking, like, absolute top tier, but he's pretty decent still. Max HP is 73, max melee defense is 8. So they can be up to 13, I see. So it's 8 is the max. That's... 13 is my okay so it's good i mean i i don't think i want to look for seeds anymore let's just make sure there's no like really big disqualifiers this looks pretty fucking good i really like this although you're not going to be able to take um, missions from here because it will spawn missions over here because the game is dumb and does that this city is essentially inaccessible same with that one Although, there's some good fog in there to bust. But I haven't seen a better port. I haven't seen a better arena access city yet. So, that's probably good enough. Kind of uh, willing to try this one today, chat. It has exact... I mean, it has what I wanted, which is that port down there. There's a northern citadel, too. I don't think it's in snow. But it is... Northern located for all of our barbarian and uh, presumably orc needs. They're a west port. Um, only the southwest, but this one. Does it have a port? It's got a port. Yeah. Either of these is a citadel. There's a citadel right there, too, and right there. Okay, so we have really good wilds access, man. Dude, there's another citadel. The citadels are in a line next to the wilds. I mean... Yeah, YN Conan. Um, could you drop it? Could you at me with that in the Battle Brothers channel on Discord? And I'll just bookmark it and have a look. I think this is pretty fucking good, chat. I think I'm willing to try this out. I mean, I gotta look. I guess where's our early leveling? Maybe is the breaking? It's pretty good. I wanted a Dexterous Sure Footed. You're not, and it's going to be really challenging to get a Dexterous Surefooted max roll. It's just not likely to happen. The biggest hit, I guess, is the 5 Resolve, which is quite a lot. I wonder how the brother levels. Alright. Let's try this. Who are we playing with? Beta, Void Star, the Lone Wolf. Yeah. 
The Lone Wolf. Always wears a mask. Hmm. Ah. Done. Done. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of curious about that, Wyo. I'm not curious enough to test it on my own right now. Okay. Alright. Are all Lone Wolf starts this intense with the fucking music? Because that's a big, big negative. Could we roll one with a slightly quieter intro when I'm hungover? That rolls preserved in Siege, yes. They are. And actually, it's determined all the way up, too. Your brother's promotion stats, I believe, are determined all the way up. So if you start a start repeatedly, you always know when to take which ones kind of deal. Um, yeah. Yeah, we had some filthy whiskey last night. I enjoyed my night, but I am a little fat-headed this morning. Can I say? Where the fuck are we going to go in the start? We want barbarians. <laughs> Just kidding. We want raiders. Down here, maybe? Citadel. The city with uh, trade good, I think. No. Can't get missions here. Some stuff over here that's decent. These three are really promising. I mean, I think this is considered Barbland, though, right? Here? I mean, that's where the teleport is for arena access. Although, presumably, arena's a little bit slower on Lone Wolf than Gladiator, since you really do need three brothers, and you're not going to have three halfway decent brothers till later. That plane's... Explain what to look for in a start. Um, yeah. The things that make um, the game more fun for me are Citadel access to the wilds and what that, things like this, where see this big chunk of space where there's no cities? This is the wilds, this is where all the fun camps are. Um, Citadel access to that means you can easily duck out of the wilds, refill on tools, dump all of your loot for a good price and pick up good recruits for the late game, which makes that super nice. I like port access, um, so when you have harbors, you can teleport. So this city has a harbor, and then also this city has a harbor down here. So I can teleport uh, southeast to northwest, which means it's really I'm really mobile. And then um, I like good brothers for my start. Like, um, good brothers depending on what we're trying to do. As a lone wolf brother, this one in particular is really good, which is high melee attack, high melee defense, uh, because he's going to be doing the brunt of the carrying. So, um, pretty pleased with... Um, Pretty pleased with that. You thought Lone Wolf was a solo run? No. I think that answers that question, Benjamin. Oh, and then if you if you're gonna build archers, you want hunters' cabins and things like that. And please show the seed. Do we have seed updated mods? Let's get that updated. Thanks for using the command for it. The command for it's really good. Uh, are we gonna take the seeds, chat? I'm, I'm not entirely certain where the fuck we level is the only thing I'm struggling with right now. Maybe, I mean, it's just awkward to find like a leveling location. Maybe these three. That one too? No. Uh, can we re retain the cultist one in there too? So maybe we can label these while with just the most recent one now. So it can be like, um, you know, like, uh, it could be like gladiator seed, cultist seed, Lone Wolf Seed, so we can have these available for people. Where do you think we should level, chat? We want to find Raiders. Of where we want to find. We can't level off Citadels right now. Not really. We can go have a look what's in the Citadel. Though. Cheap Squire. Well, not super cheap. The two decent Squires. Oh, this is a training hall. 
Alright, we're probably going to end up starting a couple times, just as we get a sense. Gameplay is scary. I mean, we we won't do a lot of it. We'll take it slow. We'll take our level ups first. How much is the XP boost? I want to test this for certain. 310. Yeah, it looks good while. Do we have the gladiator seed somewhere too? What did I ask though? The answer was quite a lot too. <laughs> and I got some brothers for this. I got where our missions are too. Okay. So that's a nice little thing. We would love to clear something immediately. What can we do immediately? There's a city in there. Who knew? Covered entirely in clouds. They live in the treetops of this city, I believe. So if I were to take the boost for 310, leaving us at 340, hire one runner from 340 to 210, Okay. The challenge of the lone wolf run. I think we're attempting to do an early kraken. I think. Middle boost is the best. Mathematically. What is that? Three of these at 105. Five of these at one. Yeah, I guess it is. Interesting. So when would you? Why would that? A. Why would that be? I've never. Even, I've never even thought to. I've never even thought mentally to do this. It's slightly more expensive too, amusingly. But what's the benefit of a longer, more drawn-out experience? Just slightly cheaper. Better than a runner to take your first fight in force chokes. Yeah, but I'm not necessarily going to have the ability to control that, Andre. And then what battles? Later battles could be bigger. Our first couple battles are not going to be big, period. No. Alright. Make it nice and easy. Grab ourselves one of these fine gentlemen here. This guy's got a, this guy looks more athletic to me. It's a fair point if I have to retreat. This guy is dexterous and fragile. Not to mention his physique. Take a look at our level ups. HP. Are we building the lone wolf to be um Words, filthy words. Are we building the lone wolf to be nimble or battle forged? Doesn't matter right now, but we should have that in mind. Right fencers yet? No. Land on Ejirak. Oh right, we're kind of solo with this, aren't we? We want to battle forged. Go. A four roll on resolve.
Do I need any four, roll, four rolls on resolve? So we're going to pick up another 10 off arena. <sighs> really don't want to waste resolve rolls. It's nice to have it for the early game. But 50 is fine later. And 60 is going to be more than fucking enough. I don't think so. Yeah, it, exactly. It's for the early game, but I think we can get past that. Player character perk is already calculated. That's why... Well, I mean, it's not calculated here. It's calculated there. So it's we're at 49 right now. And we're going to get another 10. So... I'm going to go Fortified Mind. I hope not. But we'll see. Alright, how are we building this? You can do a solo run, you need resolve if you're going to do a team soon after 11. I'm not even sure I'm going to 11 before building a team. I don't think there's a reason to wait that long. Both the greedy emote. Yeah, it's one of the ones we're asking about. I guess I need to ask Tom what the list is right now. Um, let me find out with that. Uh, I guess we need to do some theory crafting. So we unpaused briefly to bait, to bait you viewers into tuning in, and now we're going to do some more theory crafting. Seems reasonable. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have to do much with this. Hey, Steel Rick. Nine lives saves tons of brothers. There's so many things wrong with that statement. A, we don't want to save tons of brothers. And B, um, nine lives is a, in fact, trap. All right. Let's fire this up. Where is BB spread shooting? I'm gonna actually load one there. Negative. Alright, that's fine. B builds there. Okay, alright. Yeah. Make him a lone wolf round swing man splitter. No. Next question. All right, so we need a new season. And this is going to be season 16. Hmm. All right. So, uh, I think we can probably convert one of the bear build, uh, one of the gladiator builds into this. I've already answered that, Andre. I already said no. I haven't tried fencers. We still have yet to find uh, any any reason to use a fencer or how to build one that doesn't suck. Adrenaline sounds nice. I'm a little concerned about that, um, Wyo, because although I liked the adrenaline builds a lot, a lot, um, I'm not sure that they are good enough without like groups of like I, I want the whole team to adrenaline. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like Battle Forge with the. I'm looking at. I'm aiming for a minimum 80 HP Colossus uh, Battle Forged and ideally closer to 100. I mean, the other thing is we kind of want. We're trying for a solo Kraken build, so maybe we should start there. What does a solo Kraken build actually look like for us? So, why in the fuck does this not? So, there we go. Alright. Yes, I almost have a hundred. Correct. This is why I was wondering about building him nimble, since he's already like so much HP, but maybe just doesn't have the stars there. Maybe it doesn't get that way. We ended Axe Lone Wolf. I'm not so worried about the weapon. I mean, we're gonna at this stage in the game, we're gonna start with two-handed sword, and we're gonna switch to what we get, right? So, um, 
If I look at this, what do we actually, actually, actually need? For this. I would love a, I'm gonna take, okay. So, where is, I, I think this builds, we almost should build him whip build, almost. I don't wanna waste him on this, but like we're guaranteed a fame cleaver off the Ezerok. The whip is how we're gonna beat the fucking Kraken if we get a low stam whip. What was our other alternative instead of low stam whip for Kraken? It's like weapon swapping with the um, with a goblin spear. Don't need. We don't need hammers or reach advantage for Kraken. I mean, reach advantage is okay, I guess, if you're gonna for every other turn. It's like a waste to give a guy with 40 melee defense a whip. Yeah, kind of. Depends what we're doing. Like, it's a waste later. Not in BD with the Dren. Not in BD with the Dren nerf. Uh, adrenaline, we just did Adrenaline on the Cultist run. It's actually quite good. Yeah, I run Colossus on my Battleforge build this time as well. Forward Lance with Reach. Alright, so when I look at this, I guess, do we have a... Oh, dude, there's a build. I think I have it bookmarked too. Let me find it. Uh, I think I have a bookmark for the build generator. We can just open that up too. Where is it? Uh, EB Planner, I think. Alright. And do this. We're looking over here. What the fuck is it? Here. Add that. Air up Chrome. Okay. All right. And lost this for sure. We would love gifted. Gifted super strong early gets us to our maxes. Um. Not running rotate again. I don't think. Part of me wants to run Steel Brow again, but we'll see. 1 AP fucks up the polearm shield swap combo. No, it doesn't. Use a Goblin Pike. Um, gonna end up Pathfinder. Gonna end up Underdog. Gonna end up Battleforged. Gonna end up Killing Frenzy and Berserk. Gonna end up Lone Wolf. Remaining perks two. What are we missing? If we end up fighting Kraken, we're gonna need shield spec. Here's some. Quick hands if we use a whip. Otherwise, we don't need it. I'm not taking Brawny, I don't think, on this guy. Do I need a Pathfinder? Question. Is Recover the last portion of this? Does this look like the build with no weapon spec? No weapon spec makes it pretty tricky. Why do we need Quick Hands? How is this run going? Well, we haven't started yet. Drop gifted for a weapon spec. Pretty painful. Need shield spec? Can you make do? It's not about um. We're looking at solo cracking early, right? Expands. Praise the sub. Thanks for the sub, Chugman Milk. Well, how multitasking are we trying to do with this? So the first question is, are we trying to, without respecking, beat Kraken? What? Chat, what, what is the exciting part about quick hands? You can't quick hands the shield. So what are you, what are we gaining by quick handing on Kraken? So don't, no, the short answer is no to that.
have someone else solo Kraken, it's very unlikely that we're going to have someone else with anywhere near the same stats as this brother by the time we... We want to do that early, right? Part of our goal is to do that nice and early. Yeah, exactly. Normal Cleaver and Whip Bro, we get Whip Spec out of that. Although, I don't know what we're taking out of that right now. Like, normally, we wouldn't run this or that. And we do need um, we do need quick hands if we're gonna run. I mean, I, I I don't know if these are compatible, quite honestly. Like, if we build him to carry versus bear, build him to fight Kraken, I know Brawny because it's this the perk point, the, the number of stats on Brawny isn't that impressive, and uh, it costs us a lot opportunity wise to take that right now. I would love to take Brawny if I had infinite perks. Leads add up versus Kraken. Um, no, I mean, yes, he's resilient, so you don't get double bleeds, or rather, you don't get two turns of bleed, but you do get double bleeds. The problem is with the quick hand build, it looks like this, right? We're still missing shield spec. So what are we gonna have? This is level. Um, at level 4, we've got 20 melee defense. We need 100 melee defense eventually. Am I planning to give him the perk point potion from library? Yeah, but we're planning to do Kraken before library. I think. We're not worried about it. It's not the pike that ble does the bleeding, it's the whip. Stam cost. I mean, I guess it's probably safer to run the fucking shield anyways. I don't know. Alright, so what is this actually going to be? We've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got 7 levels left at average of 3. It's going to be 41 melee defense before veteran levels, before anything else. Throw on a, a heater shield, and we're at 61. And is that it for defensive bonuses? It is, right? We're not taking if we don't take gifted. 61 is no way near enough. What am I missing? Oh, I'm missing the lone wolf bonuses, and I'm missing shield expert. So if we went to, all right, so he's gonna have he's gonna have 40 melee defense. All right, we're trying to get to 100 here, right? Because it's, I, I think actually, I think it was a YouTube commenter, but maybe it was a chat commenter, made the point that I think you only have to get, apparently with rounding, you only have to get to 99. So anyways, so let's look at this. This is 40, 40 melee defense. Gonna be 20 from a kite shield. If we run shield spec, we get what, five? 25% of that, so we get another five. So it's five for shield spec. It's three for gifted. Uh, and there's no other melee defense in the tree, right? Dodge, but doesn't really count. Reach advantage, doesn't really count for what we're doing. I mean, reach advantage is actually something we would kind of want if we were using the spear, because it would be five when we don't have shield out, but it's still not very good. Confident bonus. Confident was how much? Oh yeah, Lone Wolf and Confidence. Confidence ten percent, right? So we're aiming to get we're aiming to get ten out of confident if we can, or nine anyways. Two point. And then Lone Wolf itself is gonna be how much? Fifteen percent of whatever we're up to. So alright. So let's say that we I'm just gonna take those numbers for now. So that's sixty-eight. Um, 10% of 68 is, call it 7, and then 15% of 68. I don't know how those bonuses add Confident and Lone Wolf. I don't know how they stack. Um, so let's say it's another 15% of 68. So what is that? Like 11 and a half? So that total then is 68 is 75 is 86. That's only 86 melee defense. A 
Where the fuck are we getting the rest of our melee defense from? Are we doing it with a different character? Are we just finding like a three-star thief and doing it instead? Like the attack roll was so much less important than the melee defense roll. And this guy has 11 starting melee defense, but thief starts with up to 13 and you can three-star it. Am I insane, chat? Like, are we not going to get a high enough melee defense to realistically do this versus Kraken? Yep, Fame Shield is definitely a way to get in there. I mean, this looks like we come out in the mid-80s. Veteran levels are a fair point, but... 86 is 14 veteran levels. I don't think I've ever had a brother get to level 25. <laughs> exactly. Early fame shield is not something that we can count on. <laughs> I didn't find the... The distractions to be re very realistic. Wow. Aren't they just going to die? Yeah, but this is this is worth looking at because I, I guess what we're saying with this is we're not really planning on doing this with the Okay, but if we're running an early Kraken rush playthrough, but we can't early Kraken rush? The higher starting defense? Well, we can't get much higher than this. We can only get two more than this, realistically, unless we are running paranoid and sure-footed, and I'm not super excited about that. Yeah, the lone wolf always starts with two-star melee defense. Yeah. Okay, so I think this... Well, what do you think, chat? I guess I got two questions here, then. Yeah, you need 99 base. So, um, let me fire this up and see. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh... Alright chat, well this kind of fucks up one of our ideas here. I mean we can re-roll the start while. It's not, it's actually quite easy to re-roll the start when you have um, the trinket plus the rest of it. I think you need 99 grave bees. That's what we're aiming for. All right, chat, I'm gonna go throw some food in the oven. Well, microwave oven. Back in just a minute, you guys talk about this. 